Hello everyone. My name is Khushbu Tekriwal. I am a resident at State GS Medical College and KEM Hospital. Here I will be presenting a case series of pseudoaneurysms which were detected on ultrasound. This is the case one of a 50-year-old man who presented with complaints of unresolving hematuria for 10 days following PCNL. Uh, his B-mode ultrasonogram of right kidney uh, shows an anechoic round structure in the renal sinus near the lower pole and there was dynamic change in the shape of the lesion which shows the pulsatile nature of the lesion. The corresponding Doppler image, color Doppler image shows in Yang's sign which is classical of pseudoaneurysm. Here is the corresponding axial CT image or, and corresponding coronal 3D vascular reconstruction image of the same patient, which shows an uh, lobulated pseudoaneurysm in the renal sinus with heterogeneous enhancement of the renal parenchyma and the content in the pelvis, which suggests hematoma in the renal pelvis. These are the digital subtraction images of the pseudoaneurysm, and which was successfully managed by coiling. Hence, a diagnosis of hydrogenic pseudoaneurysm arising from the posterior segmental branch of the right renal artery was made, which was coiled successfully. Next case is of 40-year-old man who presented with complaints of unresolving hematuria for 15 days following PCNL. The B-mode image did not show anything apart from the content in the ureter and the bladder, which was a hematoma and there was DJ stent in C2 in the same kidney. So the color Doppler image of the right kidney showed an outpouching with in yang sign arising from the inferior segmental branch. These are the coronal and sagittal sections of the arterial in the arterial phase of CT, uh, which shows contrast, uh, small contrast filled outpouching in the renal sinus at the lower pole of the right kidney. However, the diagnosis was difficult due to multiple calculi in both the kidneys. Hence, a digital subtraction renal angiogram was performed, which showed a small pseudoaneurysm, which was arising from the inferior segmental artery and successfully closed by coiling. Hence, a diagnosis of hydrogenic small pseudoaneurysm arising from the inferior segmental branch was made, which was successfully closed by coiling. This is the case three of a 26-year-old man who presented with complaints of swelling in the left leg and serous discharge from the wound, and, uh, wound which was there on the chain of the tibia. He had the history of stab injury two months back over the lateral aspect of the left leg. Uh, there were lesions which could be seen on examination. B-mode and the color Doppler image of the anterior tibial artery showed a so outpouching which was arising from the anterior tibial artery and which showed in yang classical in yang sign these are the uh, images which showed the neck which shows the neck of the aneurysm and this is the corresponding b flow sonogram image of the pseudo aneurysm this is the classical pulse doppler ultrasonogram image which shows to and fro pattern of the waveform Hence, a diagnosis of tra traumatic pseudoaneurysm arising from anterior tibial artery was made. However, the patient did not follow up with us. This is the case four of a 30-year-old man who presented with pain in abdomen for one and a half months and was advised sonography for the same. On sonographic image uh, examination, uh, an outpouching was seen which was arising from the superior mesenteric artery and which showed in yang flow within it. These are the axial CT images in of the uh, axial CT images of the uh, art, in the arterial phase, which showed a bilobed sacular outpouching arising from the distal SMA, distal to the origin of the iliocolic artery. There were there were few branches. There were few branches which were arising from the aneurysmal sac. These are the MIP projection, uh, MIP uh, maximum intensity projection, coronal reformatted images, and the volume rendered image of the pseudoaneurysm. Here we can see the branches arising from the pseudoaneurysm. 
these are the selective sma angiogram images which confirmed a bilobed pseudoaneurysm arising distal to the ilocolic branch the aneurysmal pouch were closed uh, using the uh, using the vascular plug and the coils this is the uh, check angiogram which showed uh, the coils in position and there was no filling of the sacs hence a diagnosis of superior mesenteric artery pseudoaneurysm was made which was clo uh, closed successfully by coiling and vascular plug this is a case 5 of 50 year old man who presented with complaints of gradually progressive swelling over the chest wall uh, since one month and he uh, underwent cabg about one and a half months back there was a boggy swelling on examination over the midline of the chest uh, on a uh, lo local ultrasound there was uh, a local hematoma which was there since the hematoma was progressive hence a suspicion for a possible leak from the from the possible underlying aneurysm was made this is the corresponding ct image uh, sagittal uh, sagittal section uh, which can uh, which shows a pseudo aneurysmal uh, pseudo aneurysm pouch with uh, extensive hematoma surrounding it and the hematoma was extending till the anterior wall these are the pre treatment and the post treatment images axial section which shows successful closure of the pseudo aneurysm by conard device this uh, here we can see the multifunctional occluder device hence a diagnosis of iatrogenic pseudo aneurysm following cabg was made and it was successfully closed using conard multifunctional occluder device so uh, here we can as we could see pseudo aneurysms are commonly encountered in day to day practice ultrasound plays an important role not only the diagnosis but also uh, in the management of the superficial small narrow neck pseudo aneurysms which are managed by compression uh, or usg guided thrombin injection small pseudo uh, small pseudo aneurysms arising from the renal artery can be missed on ct angiography especially in the patients of uh, with multiple renal cal uh, as we could see in the case 2 then progressive swelling anywhere uh, after the trauma or intervention should raise a suspicion for an underlying vascular pathology and should be thoroughly investigated as we could see in case 3 and 5 thank you